The word for today, love God's word. My words will never pass away. Matthew 24, 35. One of the first books to come off the newly invented printing press was the Bible. And it's still the world's best-selling book. An anonymous author has written, It contains the mind of God, the state of man, the way of salvation, the fate of sinners, and the happiness of believers. It is a light to direct you, food to nourish you, and comfort to cheer you. It is the traveler's roadmap, the pilot's compass, the soldier's weapon, and the player's game plan. It's a mine of incredible wealth and a river of genuine joy. Its doctrines are holy, its precepts are binding, its histories are true, and its decisions are immutable. Christ is its grand subject. Your good its design, and the glory of God its end. Read it to be wise, believe it to be safe, practice it to be spiritually healthy. Read it slowly, frequently, and prayerfully. Let it fill your memory, rule your heart, and guide your steps. It is given to you in life, will be opened at the judgment, and be remembered forever. It involves the highest responsibility, will reward the greatest labor, and judge those who trifle with its sacred contents. The Bible is the word of our God that shall stand forever. See 1 Peter 1, 25. Most of us respect the Bible. The trouble is we don't put it into practice. After hearing a discussion on translations of the Bible, one man said, I prefer my mother's translation because she translated it into everyday life. Are you doing that? That is the word for today.